going to show you how to add a link to your tables, which means that it will be useful for you when you populate your list of tables to be able to navigate easily through your document and to find them throughout without having to scroll through the entire document to look out for them. So here I have table one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight table one. Then I'm going to click insert at the very top of my screen and then bookmark. OK, and I'm going to add a bookmark name. So table one and then just click add and nothing has happened here visibly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my list of tables on the left hand side or by scrolling up. And I'm going to um, add the, the title of the table. So perhaps I'll just go back down, make sure that I get the correct title. Copy it, paste, and um, it has pasted as heading one. So let's just make sure that's body text. And then I'm going to add a row of dots as you would see in a table of contents. And I'm going to make sure that's all on one line. OK, um, but you'll see I can't click this. So, for example, if I go to my table of contents and I click this, it brings me to the part I'm clicking. But because I've modified this myself, it doesn't bring me anywhere. Now, I can change that because I've already added my bookmark further down. So what I would do here is highlight the part that you want to be um, that you want to be able to click to be navigated back to table one, and either press Control K or Command K, or insert at the top of your screen and then link. Okay, you'll be brought to this screen. You want to make sure that you have selected this document. Go to bookmarks and click table one click OK and you'll see that it has added this link but it doesn't look consistent with the rest of the style it's blue and it's underlined so what I do is simply highlight it and click body text again okay but you'll see that although it's applied that style it hasn't removed the link okay when I click that it brings me back to table one and you can do that throughout your document um, for your your tables that you use and then it will help you navigate through them when you um, are in your editing stage and you want to make sure that everything is in keeping and consistent with the rest of the document.